Hi, Internet. This is Sean with Red Arrow Industries, and today I want to show off the timecode burn-in effect, which is this sucker right here. The most common use for this is to give your clients an exact reference point for them to make a note on your edit, but it can actually be used for a lot more than that. For example, if you have a string out of raw footage your client wants to view, you can change the timecode display to show source timecode. If they want to know what clips those shots are coming from, you can add another timecode display that shows just the source clip name. You can actually add up to four different displays with a plethora of display options. And if you need more than four, just add another timecode track above your existing one. Change the size, position, and even the opacity to suit whatever your needs are. I hope these quick little tips help out, and if there's anything else you guys want to see us do, leave a comment below. Also, help us help you by hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss our next tutorial. And as always, check us out on Facebook at Red Arrow Industries or on our website at redarrowindustries.com.